Welcome back to the Logbook Pro video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the user interface and see how you can customize it to meet your needs, as well as get a good feel of how to navigate Logbook Pro via the menus, the toolbar, the pop-up menu, such as the right-click mouse menus, and uh, the status bar, uh, which is the bottom of the screen. We use the Microsoft Office 2000 style menus and toolbar system, so you get a great visual representation of how to navigate your application. The uh, toolbar system, such as the main toolbar at the top of the screen, you can actually relocate it by clicking this grab handle on the left hand side. You can drag it out, or you can actually click the title bar and redock it to a side. And you can dock it to the left, right, top, or bottom side just by clicking and dragging and, and placing it where you like it. The default location is the top. The uh, toolbar can actually be displayed in the text and icon. We can set it down to an icon only system so you can get more working space uh, within the program. You can make it text only. Uh, you can also hide it if you don't want to see it. We'll go ahead and turn off the toolbar. We can also turn off turn off the status bar and you can see you can get quite a large working area here within Logbook Pro. You might be asking, well how do I navigate now without the toolbar? Logbook Pro throughout the entire program has right mouse click pop-up menus, context menus, so you can right click wherever you're working within the application and this menu system will actually change as well as your toolbar system within Logbook Pro based on where you're working. So if you ever have a question about a feature or something you may want to do, rather than going out of that area and trying to find it, find it somewhere else in Logbook Pro, try just right-clicking first because we have put the most frequently used items pertaining to where you're working, your working area within Logbook Pro, in your right mouse menus. So go ahead and uh, right-click as desired. Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, we can also adjust the display from the view menu. We can turn our toolbar back on. We can turn our status bar back on. But there's also an element called a sidebar. If you're familiar with Microsoft Outlook and how they navigate uh, using the sidebar interface, Logbook Pro has the exact same interface to help you get around Logbook Pro, which you can also do uh, from the bottom of the report menu. It'll show your report uh, sidebar, your graph sidebar, or simply from the view menu bringing up the sidebar and uh, that will help you navigate. There are also sub toolbars as you can see are now displayed uh, when we opened up this uh, data entry area and these toolbars change based on the area that we're actually working in and uh, as I actually move around within uh, the program these toolbars will actually change based on where I am within that data entry area itself. So just to uh, show you that uh, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, thought into the user interface of Logbook Pro from your menu and toolbar system. Uh, the status bar, you're going to see messages uh, along the bottom of the screen. You can see here uh, it says uh, if you have any question, you, know, you can hit the F1 key for more options. If you're working in a data entry area, uh, you can uh, click in a specific column, hit the F1 key and Logbook Pro will open up the help documentation to the very area that you're working. So you don't have to go searching the help documentation to find out, hey, how do I do this or how do I change this value? And uh, you, know, you have to search through the help file. Just go ahead and click in the area you're working, hit F1, and Logbook Pro will go right to the area because it knows exactly where you're working all the time. So you'll see messages here on the lower left. There's also some buttons that you can click here on the status bar to provide some handy information uh, just at a glance. You know, if you're looking at your currency status, just click the currency hyperlink at the bottom and you can see specific currencies, red being expired, green being current, as well as your history items. History items such as your medicals, uh, the green again being good to go, and the red being uh, time to update your expired. And you can also bring up the currency report from this button. You can take a look at uh, look back information for those of you that uh, have to keep track of your flights and hours within certain time periods. You can do that right from the status bar at the bottom of your screen. Here's your hours representation and your flights representation based on the uh, most frequently used time periods that uh, are requested by the customers uh, for these uh, reports. If you see a menu fly out that has a bar at the top, uh, such as this one, you can actually click this bar, drag it out, and that menu 
now you've created your own menu just based on these items by themselves. So you can actually create your own menus, click and drag it out, you can dock it to the top, right, left, etc., close it, and then, you know, it's, it's always going to show in this fashion, but you can also bring this out. So maybe you're looking at your flight log reports, and you want to click and drag this out and, uh, and uh, float these items so you don't have to go back into reports, flight logs, flight log grouped. You can actually just click the bar at the top, drag out this menu item, and it will stay in visibility uh, all the time for you. So as you can see, in conclusion of this video, showing you the user interface of Logbook Pro, that you've got a great... Uh, menu and toolbar system, so it's very easy to navigate within the system. You've got uh, right, right mouse menus based on where you're working within the application. It's also a multiple document inter interface, which means you can have multiple things open at once. Here we've got the certificates open. We can open our ratings window. We can open our uh, history window. and We can actually change between these uh, windows, uh, you know, leaving them open all at the same time. and. Uh, uh, do any type of data entry that we need. The default is have the window maximized, but you can also cascade the screen so you can, you know, uh, or tile them uh, horizontally or vertically. Your standard windows arrangement options. So, in closing of this uh, video portion, you can see that we've got a great user interface for you. Uh, you can set up the program the way you like to see it and adjust your screen real estate based on the toolbar visibility, the status bar at the bottom, whether you want them showing or not. So, I hope you enjoy this video.